everyone this is asmr you today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you this tutorial that means how to make this type of abstract uh, watercolor brush portrait effects in a photoshop so i have done some presets and i just made preset for you and i'll give you the brushes link and this one is, is easy to make in your photography or in your like in you know, a photoshop effect so how to do that let's see so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification and amazing tutorials and at first go to the file and new options i'll take a canvas which is 2560 and 1440 the pixel will be 200 pixel per inch and hit the create button and you will get a white background and then i'll go to the file and place embedded options i downloaded this uh, paper that is the handmade paper and i'll give you that download link in my video description and i'll make it bigger and fit with the background so hit the tick button and then right press and restylize the layer and then go to the adjustment layer and black and white from here i just made it like a little bit warm yeah that's fine and hit ok and i'll select these two things and merge it so this one is our white or paper this one and then i'll go to the file and place embedded again and here is a model I'll give you that download link in my video description. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's fine. And hit the tick button and right press and restylize the layer. And then I'll make uh, this one like a smart object and right press and convert to smart object. Uh, why I have done this one? I want to use that preset in a future. So that's why I just made it. And how to use that? I'll show you. Okay. And then just mask this after masking this one press ctrl i and our invert mask now i'll set up the brush three brushes that is one the pixel brushes and watercolor brushes and color splash so i'll set it up this one double press this one it will open up in a photoshop and double press this one like this it will add in your photoshop and then go to the brush tool and you'll get the brush like that so i'll make it a little bit smaller before that i'll use the brush you'll get the brush in a last of your brush list so at first i'll use the this one the 700 brush and i'll just brush over there before that make sure that this one is white and then just brush over here okay that's fine yeah after that select this brush and use this this brush if you need or you can use so that's fine so before that i have to use the brush like that yeah that's good and here as well a little bit yeah that's good and then now number three this one pixel brush that is the 4100 and make it smaller like this yeah that's good and here and here a little bit yeah that's good so don't use it too much use it like that so that's fine and here i'll use another brush like this one and i'll make it a little bit like that so that's fine and press ctrl t and i'll take the brush or take the garlic of the canvas it will make more sense and that's good and in this portion you need to brush so take the brush again suppose this brush and yeah that's good yeah that's fine that's realistic and then take a new blank layer and after that i'll take the color which is red and then go to the brush again and select this pixel brush and make it smaller yeah i'll brush over here so it will make another extra effects in this photo so if you need you can just add another brush and this one as well so here a little bit if you need or if you're willing to add this one so that's good okay 
that's fine and then and take a new another layer and go to the color which is like this type of warmy color that means the orange color and hit ok and go to the brush tool and select the brush which is the first one in your brush palette this one and select once and go to the blending mode and make it a screen and you can make it bigger like that so that's good and then make the opacity a little bit down yeah that's fine so i'll add another lights and other stuffs in these options so go to the adjustment layer and gradient map and mask this gradient map and select this gradient map and here i'll use the like green type so that's good our aqua that's good yeah or this one is good so that's good and hit okay before adding that just make it screen blending mode and now we can change the color so i'll change the color and i'll find out the color like this suppose this one that's good and hit okay and hit okay and after that i'll go to the adjustment layer again and i'll go to the levels from here i'll mask it and adjust the levels like that so that's good and that's fine i'll select these three or four things and make it group and make it merge and after merging that go to the filter and camera filter so here is the load settings options and go to the load setting option and here i made a preset that is the modern girl and hit ok so you are getting like modern type effects in your photography and hit the ok button so you are getting the ultimate effects in your photography so what i have done here the smart object if you want to change this photo just double press this one the smart object the photo will appear in new window and if you want to change the photo go to the file and place embedded options and suppose i want to add this photo so place this one okay and make sure that the face is in this portion that means if i reduce the opacity that means this portion the which portion the previous girl was okay that's fine and increase the fill and save it so you're getting this effect so if you want to make the effect like that so i'm merging this one and then filter again and camera filter and from here load settings options and modern girl so you are getting here but if you need you can change the setup like that so you're getting another effects in this photo that means if you want you can change the photo and you can add your photographs so this one is a technique to make the photo like creative so let's see another one like suppose i want to change the this photo and place embedded options here the image this one is a girl modern girl and i'll adjust this one and flip horizontal and place here and hit ok and press ctrl s it will save in this and now i'll merge this one suppose this one and go to the filter and camera filter from here the settings and load settings options and modern girl so that's fine and you're getting this one this one so and if i turn off all the things this one is my previous one and it will change suppose i just okay and i'm making it like merge this one filter camera filter and here the load settings and modern girl as well and hit okay so you are if you need you can change the photo and if you need you can add the preset as well and you can get the different types of photographs so you are getting nice brush effect in this tutorial so 
if you want to download the preset that means the modern girl and if you want to download the brush settings or brush arb format you can check out my video description and this one is free of cost so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and subscribe my channel new amazing tutorial are coming soon so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and until the next video i am asmr signing out today and bye bye